video 8 on how to build an electric RC plane from plans. What I've been doing in the past few days is building up the root section of the wings and I've just simply taken that from the three ribs that are on the plan, attached the uh, spars, leading edge and trailing edge and one of the unique features of the central part is that there is um, 1 16 inch sheeting across the top only. So I've put that onto the top of the assembly here and as you can see I've used pins and tape and weights to hold that in position and let the glue set. You'll also see that I have left some of the spars and leading edge and the trailing edge slightly proud. This will then allow me to, to trim it back, sand it and make it smooth. So I have cut out the dihedral braces out of 1 16 inch ply. There's two of them, uh, one for the front spars and one towards the rear. Um, and what I've also done is on my central box section is cut a slot just behind the spar. I've done the front one at the moment and I will do the rear one later. And I've cut it through all three ribs. And as you can see, the upper surface uh, covering holds it all together so that I can take my dihedral brace and slot it in and that will sit nicely into that slot and I will glue that up using epoxy and that will hold it in place. Once that's done I'll do the one at the rear and when that is done I will glue on each wing using the braces as guides. So I have all the major components for the wing constructed and I know from the plans that underneath each wing tip I need to have two inches of dihedral. So what I've done, I've taken a large book and I have uh, measured it out to two inches thickness and the pin that I have inserted into each wing tip can sit on top of that page which will give me the correct angle for the wings. Now I've also, at the root rib, cut out the slots which will accept the dihedral braces from the centre section and those will slot in nicely and once those are in place you know that you then have the correct angle underneath the wing tip. Now I'll use a 30 minute epoxy and I'll use pins and tape to hold all this together. Uh, once I've done the right wing and it's cured off, I will swivel it around and insert the uh, left wing onto the dihedral braces again using my two inch template using the book and that will be the entire wing complete. So I now have all the wing components glued together. I'm going to leave the clamps and the tape on overnight uh, to guarantee that the glue is fully cured off. And then I can start doing some sanding and shaping of the leading edge and trailing edge 
and the central box section and that will be the end of the construction of the wings. The next step for those will be the final covering. So next I'm going to move on to the fuselage. Speak to you soon.